this is just a heads up today's video is very very serious so i just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that as it begins because our day started bright and early at 8 a.m with cj struggling to breathe and having to rush to the er his oxygen was 79 when we got here he had to have a shot to open his airways and then he was put on oxygen and was given breathing treatments every hour trying to get his breathing stabilized he was on 10 liters of oxygen and they could not get it to go down any without his breathing struggling so they ended up admitting him upstairs into the hospital just to keep an eye on him they fed us crab cakes tater tots coleslaw and cheesecake while we were here and he was doing much better he was down to three on his oxygen they did a little bit of a stress test had him walk the hallway to see how he could maintain on the three liters of oxygen and what ended up happening is that he was really struggling he got back in bed and over the next several hours he ended up back on higher oxygen and they could not get it back down so the doctor decided to transfer us out about an hour and a half from home to a much bigger hospital that she actually works at um, as well as this hospital and i am tired um, cj got admitted up here at integris baptist it's an hour and a half from the hospital we were at good morning it has been a long 24 hours um I don't even know where to start. <sighs> Yesterday morning, yesterday morning, CJ woke up, said he couldn't breathe, tried to do a breathing treatment, couldn't inhale the medicine. Um, I took him over to the ER by our house and, you know, I thought they'd give him a breathing treatment and we'd be out the door, be back home. Um, we got to the emergency room, his oxygen was 79 and he was struggling to breathe. Um, before I got him, before I got the car parked, they already had given him a shot to open his airways and um, they had um, had the oxygen out and they were already working on him. <clears throat> um, all day long they gave him breathing treatments and medication. They gave him some magnesium to help his heart rate. He seemed to be doing better last night and then for some reason out of nowhere they had had him down from 10 to 3 liters of oxygen he was doing pretty good and then things started going south and he ended up going backwards and he ended up back on seven liters of oxygen to keep his o2 up um, so they transferred us here to a much bigger hospital with the children's cardiologist and pulmonologist here. Um, he rode the ambulance here and I ran by the house to grab some clothes and stuff and like my medications and I came this way. I got here at 2.30 this morning. He got here about 2.15 and they got him settled. Um, he tried to go to sleep after they got him settled. His oxygen started dropping again. Um, when he got here, he was on 10 liters of oxygen and his oxygen kept dropping in the 80s. So now he's currently on 15 units of oxygen or 15 liters of oxygen and his blood pressure is 90, or his blood, bleh, his O2 is 91 right now. Um, He's sleeping, but it's only been about two and a half hours since he went to sleep, and he's been doing breathing treatments.
Um, he did one when he got here. He did one just about 30 minutes ago and went back to sleep. Um, we're going to see a cardiologist and a pulmonologist and hopefully figure out why his oxygen won't stay up, why he's on oxygen right now, um, why he's on such a huge amount of oxygen. Um, James's dad has the rest of the kids. James had to work. So, yeah. Um, it's been, it's been crazy. Um, I slept about an hour and a half. I'm up again. Um, his oxygen monitor was dinging and it woke me up. Um, but I'm about to brush my hair and get changed and um, get ready to see some doctors, I guess. So I'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know what's happening here. just came in we got some good news some bad news um, the good news being the CJ is improving they're gonna try to get him all the way off the oxygen today right now he's on two liters so they're gonna try to get him on none by the end of the day and we may get to go home tomorrow afternoon um, which today's already Friday so hopefully that happens he's doing really good today he just keeps getting massive bloody noses and he's still a little short of breath Look at the face of the kid who lost to his mother and I lapped you. Because I put, I literally picked a card called the track toy. So I, I see won. How dumb it was. I it's won. A, no, a, don't make excuses, mister. It's aerodynamic and it has good traction. Who won? You, but. Who won by a, a whole, who won by a whole lap, CJ? I'm driving a toy. That by literally a, goes 140 no matter how fast I wear them at, no matter what happens. Who won? Who won? I don't know. The whole game's broken. It just went black. You're so full of it. 
So basically the cause of everything, they think he caught a really bad respiratory virus and didn't realize he was sick. On top of it, his asthma got it so exacerbated that his lungs just kind of quit working. And um, so just kind of crazy, but he's on the up, his oxygen's down to two now and he's doing all right. Gonna let the sun shine in today. It's Friday night. My dad just brought us street tacos and burritos and drinks for dinner, and he spent several hours up here at the hospital with us, which I think both CJ and I really needed. Okay, so basically where we're at with things is if CJ's oxygen can be taken off and he can do good. I pushed the wrong button. Um, and he can do good on his oxygen or off his oxygen for 12 hours they'll let us go home. Um, he's been on two liters since this morning. Every time they drop him down to one his oxygen goes down in the 80s. So I don't know. We're, we're going to try to drop it again later and see how he does but so far it's not going well weaning him off the last two liters. Friday night into Saturday morning they were finally able to totally wean him off the oxygen. Saturday was spent with four different doctors making a care plan, a discharge plan, and a follow-up plan so I just did not film at all. There was no time for that but Saturday afternoon we were discharged and finally able to go home. I want to take a second to thank you guys for all your prayers that you left on the community tab. We appreciate it more than you guys could ever know. And I will be back with an update on how things are going with him after getting home. Thank you guys. Bye. Gonna let the 